With the rise in popularity of meal prepping for the week, we felt this topic was important to raise again about eating pre-chopped fruits and vegetables and explain why this might not be the best idea. But before we dive in, we want to make it really clear. If the only option because of finances or time constraints is to consume store-bought pre-cut fruits and vegetables or pre-prepared at home for the week, then this is still a great option. And if you find that this is the only way you end up consuming these healthy foods, then do it. But if you're able to chop your fruits and vegetables and consume them fairly soon after then, we're going to look at why this is likely a much better option. In a previous video, we talked about this in depth. So if you haven't watched that video, you can click the link above. In it, we discussed endotoxins, which are toxic substances bound to bacterial cell walls and are released when the bacteria ruptures or disintegrates. Endotoxins can be dangerous if they enter the bloodstream and concerningly chopped vegetables that have been left in the fridge for a few days start to get the growth of bacteria and along with them endotoxins. Studies suggest that they can extinguish some of the anti-inflammatory effects of vegetables which can reduce some of the wonderful health benefits we receive from eating fruits and veggies. So now let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger as he talks more about this. So is there any updates on the older videos on pre-cut vegetables? Does accumulation of endotoxins mean we shouldn't meal prep in advance? Any other ways to address this or prevent this? Well, you know what? It was like days. So meal prep in advance, like days in advance, isn't ideal. So I talk about basically as soon as you cut open fruits and vegetables, they start to rot. So if you, you know, have like buy pre-chopped, really convenient pre-chopped, you know, vegetables like in the store, you know, they may have been sitting there for a week, but they're super convenient. And basically the video showed that the endotoxins mean the, the components of certain bacterial cell walls, which can be pro-inflammatory, build up in fruits and vegetables, not as much as in kind of meat and dairy. Um, and so it doesn't have a pro-inflammatory effect like the endotoxins that build up in uh, many animal products, but it does seem to cancel out some of the anti-inflammatory benefits. So it's not actively harming you, but it may not be helping as much as possible. So ideally, we should chop fresh kind of day of and not keep uncooked pre-chopped veggies in our fridge for days. Though, that's still better than not eating fruits and vegetables at all, obviously. Another great convenient way to eat um, fruits and vegetables is frozen. All right, the bacteria aren't growing and frozen. And so they're pre-chopped, pre-washed, super easy to incorporate into the dish. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.